Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing all right and that you had a fantastic Halloween if you celebrate it. We ourselves actually had quite a lot of children trick-or-treating this year, which was quite nice because last year they didn't really bother with it. So it was quite sweet to see Alfie had like giving the kids the treats and there were some really good costumes as well. So that was quite nice. Excuse the funny husky voice that I've got going on. I'm still recovering from the cold that I had last week. I'm fully better. So thank you very much to everybody who did actually message me saying that they hope that I feel better soon. It was a rough weekend, but we got through it. But I'm feeling back to being happy and excited because it is currently the 1st of November. So let's all raise a cup of tea and say hello November, how we've missed you. Oh, that's still quite hot. And even though it technically is still autumn, I always feel like once Halloween's out the way, it's basically winter. I'm ready to put the Christmas decorations up. Is anybody else the same or is that just me? I'm one of these people that just like rush for the next season. But this year, I'm gonna try and cling on to my autumnal decor for a few weeks longer. All my pumpkins outside, I'm gonna keep for about another week. And then the inside decor, I'm probably gonna keep for another couple of weeks because then we'll be getting ready to do the deep clean for Christmas and then getting all the decor out. It's all over the shops, isn't it? And now the weather has turned as well. You can feel that crispy coldness in the air. I always say that autumn's my favorite time of the year, which it is because it technically, it technically is still autumn, but it's like wintry autumn. And this is like the cusp of winter starting. The nights are drawing in and it's getting all cozy and warm. Love it. Absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed the little walk that we went on yesterday. I went with my mother because I had no idea what to do with the pots outside and she is like keen gardener. So she came with me to the garden centre or it wasn't a garden centre, it was a nursery for baby plants. Oh. So the plans for the rest of this vlog are already in jeopardy. When I went out to my car last night, my car's got, um, what are they called? 
they're not well, that's not going to help at all. They're electric fob things, I think, if that's the technical term for them. Went out to try and get in my car yesterday. Car wouldn't even unlock. I was like, oh, okay. I've literally just replaced the batteries, but I'll go and replace the batteries again. Oh no, I went to go and get my other key and that didn't work either. So I thought I'll just replace the batteries again, even though I only did it a few weeks ago when my car was in for a service, but it still didn't work. And then after about, I don't know, 10 minutes of trying to get it open, Open, it finally opened then it just wouldn't start it did nothing and Daniel seems to think that the battery's flat which apparently when we looked on Google the best place to obviously look it says that with my type of car it's quite a common fault that the batteries really need replacing if it's cold like they just die so I rang the garage they said that I need to get in touch with the Renault people but rang them they don't do phone calls you have to text so I text them saying the times that I could do. They text back within about 10 minutes saying, oh, it will be between half 11 and half one, which was like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. It gives me time to do my baking, gives me time to show you guys what we've done outside with the porch. Then they've changed it to between 10 to 12 and 10 to three, which doesn't really work if it's after quarter past two because I have to go and pick Alfie up. But I'm just praying that this isn't gonna cost a lot of money because it's not what I need right now, just before Christmas. But it is what it is. We carry on. I think I should just go in forward and name this channel. When do the days of Ellie actually go right? I'm rambling on. Plan for the rest of today is that we are going back to school. We are going to be doing one of my favorite things ever that we used to eat at school when I was little, the old fashioned chocolate sponge with chocolate custard. It's been one of them types of weeks, so I'm definitely ready for it. Does anybody else remember these amazing chocolate puddings? My mum was like, you should do it with mint custard. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I remember having it with mint custard or not, but we're going for the chocolate. Sorry, mum. And I always remember being a little child at school and the dinner ladies used to bring it out. And I was like that kid on Matilda where he just stuffed his face with a bloody chocolate cake. Was anybody else the same? Please let me know in the comments down below. I will leave the link in the description down below for that. Then I'll show you what we did with the planting and stuff yesterday and then the actual reveal of the porch that I've been waiting to do for so long. And then tomorrow we are gonna be making a very warm, wintry chicken casserole mm, mm, mm. and then ooh, i can't wait i literally i can't wait it's my final hair appointment ooh, and i am so excited i'll probably talk about it now because i don't know how much filming time i'm gonna get tomorrow but i am having hair extensions i've always wanted long blonde hair my hair is that type of hair where it gets to a certain length and no matter how many times i go and have it chopped or trimmed it just never seems to grow and my hair is quite thin so when it has grown in the past and i think probably the longest i've ever had it is about down to here it's just all wispy and horrible at the end i've tried using like your standard products on it i've tried using nothing on it and it just it never never goes the way i want it's just long and thin and wispy but from tomorrow i will have long luscious locks and i'm taking you with me and we're gonna have a transformation together but i will now stop talking we're gonna get on with this recipe we're gonna get on with this vlog it's so nice to feel back to normal and talking to you all again properly thank you so much to everybody who's subscribed so far we are nearly at a thousand subscribers i'm on 900 and something 903 i think so if you're liking the vlog so far please do me a favour, please hit that subscribe button, please hit that like button, turn on your notifications, and you can see a lot more vlogs like this in the future. I've got so much planned up until Christmas, and I'm so excited that I get to share my life with you all, and that you're all enjoying it. I love you all so much, so let's get going.
Okay, so while that's baking in the oven, I'm gonna quickly just wash up. So while I'm washing up, I'll show you the clips of us planting the flowers. And then once the bake is done, I'll take you outside to go and have a look at the final outcome. So I hope you enjoy that bit and I'll see you in a minute. I love gets the best of us. Yeah, I got feelings, but I'm a tough one sometimes. Please move close to me. You love differently. So guys do you think that the sponge has gone right or wrong what's your guess so if you said right you'd be wrong why why this is two weeks on the trot and i think i know where i've gone wrong this time anyway again i think i need to invest in some sponge cake tins or something because i don't actually have any I have a loaf tin and I have a cake tin that you like wrap round, but I don't have any, like, this is where my knowledge of shapes would just go out the window. Is it rectangle? I don't have any rectangular cake tins. So I do think that when I go shopping next week, I need to get some, but let's have a look at it. So it's turned into more of a slab than a sponge. It's very thin, but it is what it is. I'm sure that it's going to taste absolutely fine. We'll just make it up as we go along. Right, while that cools, I'll quickly show you out front so you can see what that looks like. And then we'll do something with whatever that is. And then the next time that I speak to you will probably be tomorrow. Oh my goodness, there's a massive spider up there. It's outside though, so it's fine. I think it, oh, I think it just caught something. Yeah, the next time I speak to you will probably be tomorrow where we do our lovely warming chicken casserole which I'm really looking forward to and we go and get my hair done and then we'll get home dish dinner up and then I've bought myself a very early Christmas present which I'm looking forward to showing you as well so I will see you in a bit oh no no <laughs> what am I talking about I won't see you in a bit I'm gonna show you out the side come on so this is it finally finished and I'm really happy with it. I mean, I don't know what flowers they are, but I do think they look really nice. The pumpkins are obviously all gonna go, but I'm gonna keep them out here probably for a week more, just to get my money's worth out of them. And then we'll have a rearrange with the plant pots to see where they'll go afterwards. But let me know what you guys think. I love it. So I'm gonna sort out the tray, bait, whatever it is, sponge, make the custard for it later when Alfie gets home. We'll attempt to try it and see what it's like. I'm sure he'll like it. He likes everything I give him. I'm also going to wait for an update on my car and I'll let you know how I get on with that tomorrow. But now I shall speak to you in a bit. Hey, so we have actually skipped quite a few hours since we last spoke. I wanted to try and do some filming, but with the risk of the guy coming out to do my car, it just made it really complicated. But I have fixed the cake. Would you like to see it? And yes, I did make it myself. I also made the M&S box that it came in. Obviously, I didn't make this myself. This is shop bought. Guys, the sponge that I made was, it was not very nice. Alfie took one look at it and was just like, I don't want to eat it. I was like, I'll try it just to see what it tastes like. And I can confirm that it did not taste like the old school sponge of my dreams that I wanted it to so that's gone out the window we will have to retry again when I've bought a proper sponge baking tin whatever they're called so I'm very sorry that's 
for two weeks in a row the bake did not go to plan but I haven't got to worry about that in the next few vlogs because there will be no baking. I have however got an update for you on my car so a very nice man from the RAC called Alan came out shout out to Alan what an absolute top bloke he was so nice basically <laughs> he thinks that I left the engine running which then caused the car battery to go flat but for the life of me I actually can't remember if I left it running or not I don't think I did but I must have done he did say that it was a bit suspicious though that the car was locked when I first come to it he said normally if the engine's left running the doors are open but the doors were locked so we're both completely in the dark about what it was but that wasn't the concern he managed to get the battery going again but he didn't know how long it was going to last and he couldn't get the alarm to stop going off so like basically for an hour my car alarm was just continuously off and on off and on i mean my neighbors must hate me because it was loud so he couldn't fix it so then he arranged for someone to come out and tow the car but it got to like 10 to 5 and i just knew that my garage shuts at six but because it was so close to like five o'clock by the time they had come put the car onto the tow van tow truck and got through the traffic it would be bang on six or just after and i would get charged if they weren't able to take my car so i ended up ringing the people and saying to them can we do it for tomorrow so they're gonna come and get it tomorrow sorry for the complete abrupt like difference in time and that nothing's really happened it's just been one of those days again i'm gonna sit here and eat my mummy cake that i made do a bit of editing attempt to try and get some sleep because i'm gonna be so excited i would say good night but you're not going to sleep so good night to me see you in literally a second Good morning everybody and what a stressful morning it has been. So I woke up this morning, got a phone call at half past seven saying hi it's the guy coming to pick up the car. We're going to be there in about an hour, hour and a half. So that was like between half eight and nine and I was like mm. okay. Daniel took Alfie to school and I sat and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and I was like should I go for a shower now? Should I go and get ready now? If I go now, they're gonna come. And it got to like nine o'clock and I was like, if I don't get ready now, I'm 100% not gonna be ready for the day at all. So as soon as I step foot in that shower, Daniel come knocking on the door. They're here, they're here. Do you want to do it or do you want me to go? And I was like, well, I'm naked. Unless they want to see a big naked girl coming down the stairs. I would be grateful if you'd do it. So he went down, I thought I sorted it all out. Come running back up the stairs again, bang, bang, bang. You need to go and drive it down the street they can't tow it from here I was, like, I'm, I was like i'm not ready i'm literally not ready he was like i'll do it, i'll do it so down he went and i literally like washed my body as quickly as i could got dressed ran out and no one was anywhere to be seen and i was like so i waited again and again <laughs> we were running out of time luckily though daniel come back about 10 minutes later so that put me very very far behind some people might ask why didn't you get ready before then between half seven and half eight daniel gets ready and has a shower first so while he's doing that i get alfie's breakfast pack his bag pack his lunch box and then when daniel's done take him upstairs get him ready get him dressed and then they're out the door by about quarter past eight which is then my normal time to get ready but obviously i couldn't get ready and i, I really didn't want to answer the the door in like my pajamas and as I said because I have this appointment if I'd had my car I would be able to leave later but Catherine's coming to pick me up and take me but she has to take me early because she's working so I'm really sorry to say the chicken casserole is not happening I've literally got like 10 minutes and there's no way that I can do it in that time so whilst I'm at the hairdressers I'll have a little think about what I can do instead it might possibly have to be a chicken tray bake or something like that life hey anyway we'll get ready to go out i'm gonna take you along with me let's go and get my hair done a lot has changed since we last spoke 
Life's been good to you And I see that you're with someone new Maybe you are better off Now that you're with him But when I see your face I can't stop myself from spiraling Now I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling down Cause I can focus When you are around But I will try my best to carry on without you like you've done. Though I'm lost and out of breath, I will carry on without you like you've done. But I'm not over you. you left I know that I have done some things I do regret and I don't blame you for leaving I might have done the same but it doesn't make it easier anyway now I'm falling, I'm falling I'm falling, I'm falling down cause I can get myself to focus when you are around but I will try my best Carry on without you like you've done Though I'm lost and out of breath I will carry on without you like you've done But I'm not over you absolutely love it she's done such a good job I mean the lighting at the moment isn't very good but the hair extensions literally match my hair color so well I'm just oh <laughs> look at my long locks so thank you so much to Kira Lee at La Kira I just I can't if you're in the Snetcham area I cannot recommend her highly enough her and her mum are just so nice and she just does an exceptional job every time and I actually prefer it now the curls have dropped a little bit I really want it just like a natural wavy look and it's just perfect please 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 let me know what you think in the comments down below on another note can you hear that rain I don't know whether my phone will pick it up but it is literally hammering against the windows Hello November. Candles are going. After this I'm going to get myself a nice drink. I would pop the TV on but our internet has gone. Well I can watch normal TV but I can't have my YouTube music playing in the background so mm. before I move on to that I just wanted to show you the products that I've got with it. So the extensions that I have in are the Easy Lock range and I also bought the Easy Locks paddle brush which I mean she used on me in the shop and it they just they glide through the extensions so nice that it literally just straight through love it I'm not, I, I mean I don't want to go through it straight away just purely because I don't want to brush my curls out and I also bought their shampoo and conditioner which I'm really looking forward to using on the extensions I washed my hair with them yesterday so I can't wait to see the results with these once I've washed them and then finally I bought the rose gold oil which is also a heat protector as well I'm just so happy with all my products and with my new hair I mean I literally have just brushed part of that out but it's not too bad we were gonna do a time lapse 
but when I got in there, Kira Lee was a bit like, I don't really want to be on the vlog, which I completely understand. I would never force anybody to be on there if they didn't want to be. I understand that once it's out there, it's out there forever. So she agreed just to do a few videos and then like the end result. So I'm happy either way. Again, she did such a good job and she's just such a lovely person. She's so nice. But let's talk about the rest of the day because how freaky is this? Obviously, I had my problem with my car, didn't I, yesterday, which I've told you all about. Well, when my sister came to pick me up, she sat in the car and no word of a lie, the front mirror, rear view mirror thing, whatever it's called, just fell. Like, it literally just fell and was, like, hanging by the strings. And it was so freaky. It just dropped out of nowhere. So she rang her garage up and they literally, like, just bring it straight round. So all the way home, I was having to hold her mirror up like this all the way home but they managed to fix it but that is not the spooky thing so obviously i told you about that they think it was possibly my car battery that died well just before dinner daniel was like i'm just gonna pop to tesco's went out the door walked in again about three minutes later i was like blimey that was quick and he just started laughing i was like you haven't been have you and he was like, no, guess what? I was like, what? He said, my car battery's flat. What? I mean, how weird is that, that both of our car batteries have died and our internet is just not working. I rang my sister up and she was like, she's on Now TV as well. And hers is working absolutely fine. Rang my mum up, her signal cut out for about half an hour, but has turned back on again. Ours is just not turning back on at all. I know obviously that we've got bad weather at the moment, but I just find that really, really strange how my car basically died. Catherine's car was fallen to pieces and then Daniel's car died and we have no internet. I mean, can weather do that to cars? I actually don't know. I mean, it could do, let me know if it can, but I just think that's super creepy. Mm, really weird. So because the internet is playing up i do still have signal on my phone so i'm hoping just to pair my phone with my imac but that means it's thursday night oh it's definitely coming down now can you hear it you must be able to hear that yeah thursday is when i upload and schedule my youtube vlog to go out the next day but if i can't do that i have no control of it so I do apologise if this vlog actually ends up going live on Saturday. It just, it's just life, isn't it? But at least it's keeping me on my toes. I did say as well that I was going to show you my early Christmas present that I bought myself. But because the lighting's not that great in here, my phone is not very good at doing nighttime filming i feel like i'm gonna have to shout in a minute because the rain is that loud i feel like i actually want to show you it next week because i'm actually doing a kind of shot with me part so while i think whilst i'm showing you the bits that i'll have bought next week i might as well show you my christmas present to myself next week as well because it the light room will just be better and i think Meh, it will just be better so i am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i'm sorry that again it has been another wreck of a vlog at least it's kind of making it interesting i hope thank you as always to everyone that has subscribed this week that have liked that have commented it really makes my day every single time one of you does something and as i said earlier in the vlog if you haven't liked the video yet please like it if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and then my new one go ahead and hit that notification button and you'll be notified when i upload my next vlog but yeah thank you without you lot I obviously can't do what I'm doing and I am one step closer to getting those thousand subscribers so please help me get towards my next goal and I will love you anyway but I'll love you even more so I hope you have a great week I shall see you next Friday for another fun packed unplanned random day in my life or days in my life so you will take care of yourself guys Bye bye